Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We're here in Florum trying to find the trendy things, because... Storyline. But first, we got a party chat. I want this and that and that. Idea, did you take ring -a bell off of another of your shopping sprees? W what can I say? I s see these clothes and just can't help myself. That's abundantly clear looking at all the bags in ring -a bells hands. My poor numb hands. Worth it. I mean, just look at this adorable one piece. But Adia, you already own a dress that's practically identical to that. What? They're totally different. See? The length is shorter on this one. It's all the rage. You go buying new dresses every time hemlines change, you'll be broke in no time. Yes, and my purse is no is in no condition to support her little habit. Needless to say, mine is no fuller. I haven't, I haven't got two points to rub together. Don't tell me. Thank you so much, Tiz. Hey, that's my wallet. Let's keep talking around, I guess. Sexy clothes? You certainly won't find them in the shops here. I'll let you in on a little secret. secret. The old man of the woods comes a few times a year. He's a total pervert, but the clothes he sells are knockouts. The old man of which woods exactly? Somewhere in the southeast, down past Mount Fragmentum, from what I hear. Is that the sage? Whoever he is, he said he knew the matriarch and the Vestal of Water. He was leering when he said it. Are we talking about a different old man in the woods? Well, I guess we... Let's ask the... Oh, wait, okay, so we have to go to the matriarch first. Okay, that is where we head then. Okay. The fifth time we've been to her. Lady Matriarch, pardon my asking, but do you know of a perverted old merch? <laughs> You'll be looking for the sage yeah. of Juliana then. He didn't even have to finish. How a man of his years manages the trip here from the Juliana woods on foot, I'll never know. What? There's a path connecting Florum and Yuyana by foot? Done! Let's be off! It's unsettling how eager you are about all this. Okay. To the old sage we go then. Another party chat. Sexy clothes. I'm amazed an old man like the sage still travels town to town by foot. Evidence of the man's tireless commitment to clothes, my dear. I knew from the moment I saw him he was no ordinary grandpa. So I have no problem with the fact that we wound up out here, but do you really plan to put Agnes in something like that? I fear I'm ignorant in such things. What makes a garment sexy precisely? Er, goodness, how to put it? Hold on that thought, Agnes, my dear. Why spoil the surprise? Today is black as pitch list. Entry 1. Ring a bell. Okay. Um, uh, maybe the woman who sells it will come today. Skip. Okay. I have to come back later. That's what I'm guessing. I probably have to come back later for that. Oh, the side quests are here. Okay, real quick. Let's go ahead and give it a save before we go any further. Because I haven't saved in a little while. seem the kind, reasonable sort. I would beg a favor. I'd like your help searching for two girls. Sisters. And still just children. They were seen heading for the gardens at the city's west, but haven't returned. It's my own fault. They came in asking after spirit hairpins. Oh, if you didn't know, those hairpins are all the rage these days. Part of what the girls are calling the Holy Trinity of Fashion. Incredibly expensive, though. Anyway, I don't stock them here. But I told them they might find some in the gardens. The gardens are a dangerous place for children, you see. I'd hope to scare them off the idea. I was a fool to assume. If you find them, please bring them home. Fair enough. Seems like a good deed.
Okay, it looks like we have another side quest with her. I've kind of you in stock. Come and get the dye that brought color back to Forum. Today only, make it yours for just one million ping. A million? It can't be legal to charge that much for some dye. But people are buying it. Have a look at that crowd. Why not give it a try, Agnes? It's your chance to kick that plain Jane image for good. Unacceptable. No. One million peak is a lot, my guy. Okay. So we have a few places to go. I say we do side quests first. Then main quest. So, I guess we'll head over here. So, I guess the first part is the gardens, right? Okay, that's annoying that they get first strike. We can go from there if, if needed. Now, do I have to go all the way around? Do we go all the way around the entire... <sighs> I haven't had a mini heart attack. Long story short, there's a little thingy on the pillow behind me. Whenever it touches my arm, it feels like there's a spider there, so I just like... <sighs> that'll probably be... That'll look funny on video, but... Yeah, I just like freaked out because I thought it was a spider. Ah! Ah! Someone help! That's my cue! Monsters? Oop, don't want to auto that. Okay. We're gonna do is uh white oh hmm we're gonna default then we're gonna use black we're gonna use the fura we're gonna use fura on all of them do we have black magic okay so we're gonna use the black magic fire on all of them and then same thing, we're just going to use fire on all of them. Okay, this should be enough, hopefully. Yeah, cause, and fire is also their weak point, so... I don't know how much HP these guys have, but... I want to take them all out at once. I know Adia is going to do the most damage here, so I just need to get Adia up and running. Oh, don't... Don't, don't, don't do that. Okay. There we go. A little bit of peak there. I need some peak. I'm kind of broke. Thank you for saving us. I take it you two are the little ones here in search of spirit hairpins. This place ill suits a pair of fair flower nymphs like you. Come, let's go home. No, we really want hairpins, no matter what. If we don't keep up with the trend, they'll make fun of us! The hairpins are magic. Just putting one on makes you super pretty. And they're so beautiful. You never ever want to take it off. Thank you, but we're not giving up. Bye, mister! So they're just gonna die? Are you ready to die for an accessory? Oh. Mister? Getting old, ring a bell. You're getting old. I'm gonna start looking like that sage soon. Oh, is it in here? Oh, it's probably in that little hole there. I'm happy we bought that last step. Or yeah, we bought it last episode because now we'll be able to raise dead people. All right, let's go into the flower forest here. Florum Gardens. It's. Those sisters. Bro. No. I'm scared. You should be. Jesus, do you can't just run Hush. into We just have to find a Flory and she'll give us hairpins. Just run into monster infested places. Our symbol, a spirit. 
spirit who tends the flowers and makes Florum prosper. It has to be a Flory who makes the hairpins. That's why we've got to find one. I'm not turning back, Gary or no. Anyway, bye again, mister. You can't just grab them and just be like, no, you're coming with me. Uh, well. Like, it's technically not kidnap if they're putting themselves in danger, right? Maybe. Oh, let's quickly do the town update. Okay, actually, not much. Okay, let's stick some people in here. Do a 15 hour there. Actually, we gotta get a couple more people in there. Let's see, a three hour sounds about good. Two hour there. Okay, let's get another hour there. Okay, and then up here, 30% power boost. Okay, do we have anything else? No, okay. I think we're good. Okay. What did that do? A spore loser. Cough. Spores erupted from the purple flower. What? But it's so pretty. Pretty flowers and pretty women always have thorns. That has nothing to do with anything. These spores. This is lush leaf. Everybody, don't worry. This stuff isn't fatal. It prevents you from casting magic, but a dose of echo herbs will have you cured in no time. It's a natural defense to keep animals from eating them. If we stay clear, we're safe. Uh, oh, sure, he gets praised. What? And what animals use magic to eat plants? Okay, so I'll definitely want to echo herb. Let's go ahead and just echo her bright. Wait, do I have an unsilenced magic? No, it's just blind and poison, so. Oh, we're gonna need some echo. Ooh, I got out of it. We're gonna need some echo herbs then pretty bad. We only have 13 at the moment, so. Oh, we probably shouldn't even use them on the physical characters, but that's alright. Oh. Why are the Valkyrie people in here? Fair enough. Legion, Impaler. Abilities. I don't know. Let's just, I guess... Ooh, 15's a lot. Maybe I'll stick with the normal fire still. Just in case. Okay, Anya, she can use... Just some normal attacks on the mage, I guess. Ooh, and no, not run. And then with him, we're gonna use... Two arrows. Okay, sneezed again. Ugh. Alright, how tough are these people? We're hitting them pretty... Ooh, okay. Yeah, I was like... Anya took care of one by herself, so that's pretty good. But with a crit, though. With a crit. If we fought, like, four of these, then we might have a little bit of trouble. Ow, that actually hurt. Well, I guess it's also ring a bell. He doesn't have the highest physical defense. Okay, not, not not crazy tough, but I don't know how these little girls are slipping past just like random Valkyries, because, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, cure. Okay, let's keep moving. 500 pig. It's not a lot. Of course, I stepped in that. Okay, a couple Echo Herbs will do the trick, although I'm only going to do it... Okay, only on her and Anya's can... I'm literally not the smartest person. Once again, did it on accident. Okay. I need to stop making mistakes. <laughs> it's getting frustrating now. Uh, I want to go through it so bad. Okay, we'll take the long way around. Okay. Two things up there we can go through. Ooh. Watch out for the shrubbery. X potion. Okay, which path do we take? Left or right? I think left path first. Left Okay. Alright, but yeah, I do want to take these fights. I don't want to run away from these because <clears throat> I kind of need the experience right now. Alright, I want to avoid the purple stuff. Ooh, some chests. Ether. 
thousand pig. <laughs> Okay, we can go down and there's nothing there. Okay, a chest that we cannot open. Oh. Oh, I I want to use the fire attack, but I guess it's worse too. I don't know if you have a problem with the fire. But it's worse too, I guess. Oh. I think it's worse too. I think it's worse too. Probably two shots, one shot. Yeah, literally one shot them with a direct fire attack. Two remedies. Oh, we can use those in, in, in instead of echo herbs. Okay. I'm gonna dodge all this stuff. Chest. Tomahawk. Okay. Let's see. Is. Okay. Tomahawk goes on then. No, I Okay, that fight was long and hard, and half of us are nearly dead, but nothing a little magic can't fix. Let's go ahead and just give everyone a quick cure. Okay. Let's move on. Is this just... Is that just like a roundabout, and it takes us to the other end? So that means we gotta go all the way around. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You know what I'm gonna do, though? Just for a hot minute, I'm gonna I'm gonna make the encounter rate zero because I cannot handle walking all the way and fighting more of these things. So we can beat all of them. They just they sometimes. Oh, I almost just I almost just walked them in again. I'm an absolute ninja though and dodged them last minute. Let's go in here. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna fight things in here either. Ooh, there's a mat. There's a save guy. Probably be smart to buy some echo herbs from him. Although we technically won't really need them after we get out of here, so. Remedy. Honestly, I don't even care if I'm hitting these at this point. That is a okay with me. Tanga Tanguyon. Okay. Another chest. Turbo Ether. Okay, we needed one of those because we used both of them last time. Okay, so let's go to tactics. Like usual. Wow, it's beautiful. It's a flurry! There are a whole bunch! Huh? <gasps> what? Oh, it's one of those sisters. Hugh. Mephelia. Idea? <laughs> it's Idea! Filthy thing. Toying with my sister's heart. <laughs> what are you doing here? What am I doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm killing fairies. Plucking their little fairy wings. Hmm, how many has it been? I was counting, but then I stopped counting. <laughs> Stop it! That's mean! You can't! Are you giving me an order? 
Only my sister gives orders. Only she. These fairies are incredibly important to Florum's people. How can you do this? We came all this way so a Flory would give us a hairpin. <laughs> Why are you sad, child? The thing you seek is right here. Take their wings. What? Flory's wings? Oh, yes. That's what the hairpins are made of. The beautiful wings of the beautiful little fairies you worship. Dang. Torn from their little bodies while they make the most adorable screams. They glow, you know. For a brief moment, the wings glow. And then, never again, they cloud over. Sullied forever. I can think of nothing so beautiful. It's quite addictive. It's just a fairy serial killer. Then it's your poaching that's behind this. All for what? Money? Has the Blood Rose Legion's purpose always been so pathetically base? <laughs> You've always been this way. Both latitudes, happy lies. Always so pretty. So pretty you reek of rot and decay. Keep away, Idea. All humankind is dirty. A fine pack of filthy pigs. There is no real beauty. Save my sister. All but her are tainted, impure. Have a look there. Those innocent girls. Stop it, you two! Are they really fighting over the they dead fairy's corpse? Separable until a moment ago. Is this your aim? Why are you doing this? A silly question. Playing with their love, corrupting it. Mm, it feels wonderful. Look at the little creatures. This is their true form. Their desire to shroud themselves in beauty only reveals the ugliness inside. And whence that desire? The very object of it. <laughs> it's in the wings. The spirit's wings secrete a curious substance Invisible to the eye, but to the nose. <gasps> Each breath of it dulls the mind, stirs up desires, makes a person selfish and nervous. Those girls fight won't end until one lies bleeding. Oh, okay. It's monstrous. That girl with you, Idea. That is the Wind Vestal, is it not? Just how long do the two of you intend to feign trust? How long till the facades drop? What will it look like, I wonder? The moment all the little platitudes that hold you lot together start to crumble. Can we kill her soon? Show me! Quickly! Quickly! Let me see your end. Okay, let me see your end, brother. Let's go! Okay. Special. Um. Uh, let's see. Let's do air splitter. Special, piercing bolt. Moonbeam. And piercing bolt. Let's get them all out of the way. Why not? Well, we, you know, got nothing else to fight, so. 
Let's just hit him, hit her with it. No turning back. Air splitter. Oh, I didn't do much damage at all. Shame. Don't fall for me now. Another thousand? Okay. Dude, ring of bells is a jam. Okay. But a Diaz her own piercing bolt. Another thousand, five hundred? Another thousand. Okay. Ooh, I can do another special. Let's let's do it. Okay, then I'm guessing fire would probably be good on her, right? Well, Fiera, 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 and Fiera. Brave, brave, brave. Let's do the hidden dragon, hidden dragon, hidden dragon, hidden dragon. And then... Let's just do... I think... I don't know if the air would heal it, so I'm just gonna do fire. That should be enough. Okay, I was gonna say, please don't default, because that would suck a lot. Okay, it's not gonna do a crazy mode, but 300 is pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's, well, it's also our magic attack is up because of the special move, so... Another grand strike. 300. Good enough. For a single hit, 300 is pretty good. That does a lot of damage. Wow. Her fire is also raised from her um, thing, too, so that is a lot of damage. Idea is absolutely carrying with damage right now. Okay, Agnes is not doing terrible either, honestly, though. KO. Literally easiest fight of our lives. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't bad at all. She crumpled to the ground pretty easily. Okay, what, what? I don't remember what asterisk this is. <clears throat> Summoner. Shouldn't even get to summon. Uh, over with summoning magic. Um, favors rods. Oh, okay. I want to see the summon actually. Okay. Honestly, that's interesting. Hmm. MP. Okay. Honestly, that's interesting. Maybe we'll get a summoner? Maybe? <laughs> and now, the hands that killed me are stained in blood. <laughs> Good. Knowing that I've sullied you is... Another soul. That's weird. What do you suppose she was trying to say? <laughs> okay, fair enough. The girls. What of the sisters? Did they beat each other up. Are they dead? Them to a terrible fate. I shall do everything in my power to spread word of the hairpin's dangers, to atone. I am sorry to have foisted this cruel task on you. Forgive me. They actually die? Yo, the children just straight up died. 
Ring a bell. Where's where is that girl you've been seeing? She hasn't come around lately. Did she finally get fed up with you and leave? I've had enough of her anyway. Did she suffer? Oh, well, she been saying how she wanted this gold lamb handbag, so I finally bought it for her. You actually ended up buying it. That had to have been rather pricey. I'm surprised you could afford it. She seemed really happy when she walked around with her new handbag. But soon, all sh all I could see was the handbag. It looked to me like the bag was walking around with her. It was one huge wet blanket on our relationship. Haha, uh -huh, that's what happens when you don't live within your means. You're telling me I'm almost broke. That bad, huh? It is. And tonight, we'll be roughing it outdoors. Right, Tiz? Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and save, guys. I'm going to end this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and a comment as it's going to my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.